It's fall, y'all, and we replaced our welcome sign with something fall. We'll show you how we did it right now. Welcome back. Guess what time of year it is? It's my favorite time of year. It's fall, y'all. So we need a new porch sign and we're just in luck that we messed our last porch sign up that said welcome. If you saw it, I'll put the link up over here somewhere. So our one where we flipped all the letters. They were upside down and backwards and our O was both upside down and backwards. We're gonna repurpose our welcome sign. We're gonna spray paint it white, distress it, and throw some lettering on it. We're gonna cut out our Cricut stencil using vinyl this time so that we don't flip the letters. <laughs> yep, we'll make sure that they don't end up swapped. All right, so let's get into design space and knock this sucker out. Yep, we're gonna show you how we do it from start to finish. Right here, we'll switch over to my screen and I'll show you what I'm doing in design space and then we'll cut the letters. Okay, we're gonna start in design space with our blank canvas. I already downloaded a vertical fall y'all SVG file. So let's go ahead and import my upload, which is right here. All right, so we've decided we don't really want the welcome. So we're going to ungroup this, take off the welcome, delete, and we want it to say, it's fall, y'all. So we're going to add some text in here that says, it's. And I went out to defont.com to find a font that somewhat matched fall, y'all, and I found this Anderson Anderson Thunderbirds are a go. Right here, font that looks like it matches. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to take a copy of It's Fall, y'all. Put it up here at the top so that we can use that to guide um, the correct size of its. So here we can see y'all is... 0.635 inches tall, so let's make it 0.635 inches tall, so we know we're working with the same height, and um, this one looks a little fatter, so I'm going to unlock it, and I'm going to resize it a little bit, make it a little bit wider, I think that looks pretty good right there. And I noticed this apostrophe isn't the same, so let's go ahead and slice out the apostrophe from y'all and put it into it. So the way we do that is you're going to add a shape in here. This little square, and we're going to use that for our slicing. Grab it. Put it right over this little apostrophe right here. There we go. Select them both, the box and y'all, and we're going to say sliced. And so now you'll see I have my own version of the apostrophe. So I'm going to take out and delete everything else and just save the apostrophe. And now I've got to remove the apostrophe from its so you can ungroup these letters, take out the apostrophe, and add the apostrophe in right here. Let's see. Let's align these to the top, make sure they're aligned. That looks pretty good. Now we want to see what size y'all, the spacing between y'all and the L match that spacing. Looks like it's about a half of an inch. So I'm going to group these together and put these at about the same spacing. That looks about right. All right. Now we're going to group everything together. Put it up here in the left-hand corner. If you just drag and drop it up there, it'll click it right into zero, zero on the left-hand side. And we 
think we said before, we're working with 58 inch length and about 11 and a half inches wide. So let's put this thing at 11. And that makes us just a little bit too long. You see here now our height is 58.749, which will probably work for our board, but I'll go ahead and make this just a little bit smaller. Maybe let's try 10.75. Put this at 57 and a half. That looks good. And next you'll see that because the height is 57 and a half, our Cricut won't cut a length that long. So we're going to break that in half into two files that are no longer than 24 inches long. So here, now we're going to ungroup everything. And we're going to group just what we can fit on one mat. What does that look like? Hmm, that A is going to be too far down. So let's do it this way. Let's bring it down a little bit. Group all of these. Put in the top row. And now what are we looking at? 26. We're still a little bit too long for one mat. So what we can do is we can cut it in multiple mats. How about we do that? Let's just do the ungroup this. Make sure we have all of these. If we look over to the right, we should be able to see what we have here. We do not want to group the A in with this bunch. Now we have one group, it and the F. That's one group. Now let's see how far down this becomes. 21 inches, we can group those. And then y'all and this L, we'll group those. So this group then becomes 14 inches. Okay, so we have three groups. We'll cut them in three mats, and I'll meet you back here with the board, and we'll start the stencil. So we have all of our stencils now cut and transfer paper applied. Mm -hmm. Right on time. And we have the welcome sign painted white and distressed. This was our welcome sign with the two pickets that cost like a dollar or something a piece, dollar fifty a piece. We just repainted it white and sanded it down again. All right, so let's apply our stencils and start painting. Yeah, if you want to do that, I'll start mixing the paint. Start painting. All right, we got our orange painted. Ooh, so orangey in fall. We're gonna give it a minute to dry, and then we're gonna add a little bit more red to our orange to give it a darker flavor, and come in with super bright dry brush to give us some shadow. Oh, in the meantime, I'm gonna paint this maple leaf accents. While we were letting it dry, I found a can of orange sparkle paint. Sparkles! So I kinda hit it, but it was a little translucent, so it gave it just a little bit of like glitter sparkle thing, so. Now we're gonna just give it some extra color Make it pop a little bit using some uh, dry red, dry brush, red, like really dry brush. Like I'm going to dab it in the paint. 
and then like really dry it off. Like, Is it gonna be red around the edges, like really red? No, like, all right, see how I was just dabbing the sheet? Look, I'm dabbing. That's how dry <laughs> it is, all right? <clears throat> and then you just come in around like the cracks. Just the cracks, hit the cracks. You're giving it that ombre look. Yeah. Is that ombre? It's gonna ombre or fall sign. Voila! <laughs> Don't kill the creativity, babe. Don't kill the creativity. All right, let's peel it off and see what it looks like. Let's do it. Oh, hold on, let me get this. Uh, I was doing a leaf that we're gonna embellish on it. We're gonna be using crafting words. Looking great. Let me stand it up so I can decide what I want on it. All right, what do you think so far? All right, we're gonna add some stuff on the top. All right, oh, easy on the floors. Yeah, easy on the floors. We got scissors. Yeah. Scissors at the Hold ready. Hold this and I'm gonna wrap it. Oh, y'all. Good thing we got tall ceilings. Huh? All right, we'll do a little uh, montage on that. Do you like to do it yourself? Build it yourself? Make it yourself? So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. Here's the subscribe button. Other videos to watch, <laughs> subscribe button.